So this is a huge difference between classical musicians today and musicians of the 18th century. Uh, sometimes people talk about memorization as a pathway to improvisation, and I've never seen this work. I do hear people say, oh, if you want to learn to improvise like Bach, just play and memorize a bunch of fugues by Bach. I, I know people who can play a million fugues by Bach, but can't improvise anything. Memorization does not teach you improvisation, because memorization, how many ways are there through a piece that I memorize? How many correct ways are there? There's just one, exactly. Okay? So what I'm really doing when I'm memorizing is I'm recalling this linear pathway. This happens, then this happens, then this happens, then this happens. Don't do anything else along the way. Not only is it unnecessary, it actually will cause a train wreck. When, when there is a train track you're supposed to be on, any time you spend not on the train track is a train wreck. Okay? It's not a, you, you don't get to like travel around and you know, it's, train driving is very boring. Uh, so memorization does not help you do this. I, I had the same you know, music education uh, up through doctorate of, of learning memorized piano repertoire. And I realized that all of this time spent learning this train track pathway through Chopin and Brahms and this and that and the other, taught me to be pretty good at a linear approach to music. And what I mean by that is there's one line, there's one path, there's one order in which these things happen. And I could do that. And if I forgot, or my hands slipped, or somebody's phone went off in the audience and it knocked me off of that line, it was kind of a problem to find my way back. And most of you know exactly what that feels like. It's not a good feeling. Can I get an amen? amen? Here we go. And when you learn to improvise, you are learning about how to make choices as the thing goes along. It, it doesn't have a preordained track that you're following. So when you take a classical pianist and you put them at the piano and you say, play, and they say, what from my repertoire shall I play? You say, don't play from your repertoire, make up something new. Uh, they freeze up because they're not program to think this way. Okay, they need that, that track. Okay, so it should be no surprise that an educational system dedicated to reciting, not creating, produces musicians who can recite but not create.